What is going on, Shrimp Keepers? Uh, we are live. A little bit of a uh, running behind and uh, a lot going on. But we are here and we're going. And uh, that's all that matters. Uh, I'm at my house today. Um, I decided to stream from here. Uh, the dogs have been uh, locked up for enough time today. So it was time to come home and let them roam the house. Well, at least while I live streamed. And so, uh, so let me give a shout out to everyone. I know that my chat probably doesn't go all the way up to the beginning, um, but from what I can see, Tampa Tom is the first person here. He said, Rob, my new dwarf crayfish, blue crayfish, uh, flicks his tail a lot swimming around my tank. And I'm not sure if he is unhappy, hungry, wants out, or is just very active. Um, it's in a 29 with five guppies, lots of hiding places. So I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not too good with, uh, with crayfish. And so let me get a, one of these little candy thingies. Uh, I'm not too good with crayfish. Uh, I don't know too much about them, but sorry. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so tonight we are talking about uh, nano fish. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, <laughs> basically uh, what's going on with nano fish. Like, is, is flip aquatics, are we going to sell them? Uh, or are we not going to sell them? Like, what's going on? We, we get this question all the time now, uh, ever since I announced it. And uh, so that's what we're going to get into tonight. We're going to talk all about it, figure out what's going on, why we haven't started selling them yet. Are we still going to sell them? Um, has there been any holdups? Uh, do we not know how to keep them alive? Like, that, those are all the questions that we're going to uh, answer tonight. But Fish Person, fish person Vlogs is here, uh, Tori Cook, JW Aquariums, Flynn Fish Forms, uh, what's going on, Flynn? Dan C's in the house. Stormy Mist, a.k.a. Emma. Uh, Jim Meeker, uh, One Fish, Two Fish. Um, Rory, um, a lot of other people here. I know Rory is one of the first ones to comment. Um, Adele, um, Miss Linenatter. <laughs> Linenatter? I don't know how to say that one. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people here. King Lee's here. Uh, DT Aquariums is here. Uh, Chris Roma's here. So a lot of good people in the house. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good night. Um, it is a Sunday, which means Monday is right around the corner, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. It's President's Day. So um, at least in the United States, I'm sure at least 50% of you have the day off. Or if you're younger, uh, you have the day off school. And so it's, a, it's kind of a, a good day. It is a good day. Uh, we got Lucas Bretz in the house who... By the way, uh, posted a video of an unboxing he did with us. He also posted two fish room tours. I'm um, also one of Ken's room. So he's been doing a lot of videos. He uh, he came down and visited us. And I actually have a few videos with him I need to post too. And so a lot of good stuff going on there. But he got a ton of shrimp. I mean, the man's crazy. Uh, they call him Shrimp Jesus because of his long hair, which just cracks me up. Um, so yeah, so it was really cool. Uh, having Lucas down, so please go check out his channel. Check out everything that he's got going on, and uh, and he he has a lot going on. I'll give you that. Same thing with Chris Rome. I see Rome in here. That man's always doing something new, setting up more tanks, building more stands. Uh, it's it is funny. And so we got V Stag in the house. What's going on, V Stag? Um, a lot of people here. Um, so yeah, so this is good. Um, so tonight we're, we're going to definitely be touching on <laughs> something that we get asked a lot, an absolute, absolute lot. And so huh, are we going to be selling nano fish? Are we? Um, the answer is yes. And, uh, and what we're actually going to do is uh, my goal uh, this week is to actually list them for sale this week. And then uh, we're going to do like some testing and uh, and see how it goes. We have a ton of nano fish in stock right now. Uh, luckily, we've been we've been selling a decent amount when people come to the shop. Uh, like Lucas Bretz is a prime example of that. He came to the shop and he said, whoa, like I need these in my life. And, and he ended up buying a ton of them. Um, but yes, yeah, so a lot going on with the nano fish. A lot of people have been coming in and buying them. Um, but we do want to start testing some. Um, things and so we're going to test some shipping methods with them and see how they go and get your guys's feedback and we're going to start slow and so we'll get into all that i i did see a super chat come in from uh one of the best moderators on youtube nisi herself 
Um, you guys, if if you're watching the the replay of this, Nisi is spelled N-I-S-I. I get that question all the time. She has a YouTube channel. She's from Alaska. Uh, just an awesome person in the fish fam. And uh, does a lot for a lot of the YouTube channels. And so she's a moderator. And she dropped a $10 super chat uh, and said, happy belated birthday to one awesome fella. Hope your weekend has been great. You, sir, are the bomb.com. <laughs> no, Nisi, you are the bomb.com. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Nisi. If, if you guys didn't know this, uh, my birthday was actually Friday. And so it was nice uh, for my birthday. I took some time off, um, kind of just relaxed a little bit, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, if you guys have been following uh, Bob Steamfought and uh, Jimmy from Aquarium Co-op, uh, Swhiskey, or however you say it, uh, it used to be Shishimi whiskey. Now it's a uh, Swhiskey Vision, and um, I've been uh, playing video games with those guys. Uh, we've been playing what a game called PUBG, which I'll just talk about it quickly. And uh, I took kind of the weekend off, um, did some emails, things like that, and then uh, and then played some PUBG with the boys, and it, it's been a lot of fun. I know a lot of people in the chat, like Nisi. Uh, watches those live streams with those guys and it is just hilarious to watch um and we and we do have a good time so that's been a lot of fun so it's been a good weekend off um i gotta get back into some things tonight uh starting with this live stream and so i'm looking forward to spending this next hour with you guys and talking about nano fish and uh, all the ups and downs we've had with them and kind of just fill you guys in on the story and uh, we'll get right into it so as i said um we we have had nano fish oh my goodness i want to say we first got them in three months ago maybe four it's actually in november so uh november it was beginning of november so it might have been the end of september so we'll say beginning of november to december to january to february to march so this is going on four months that we've had nano fish and we have not listed them for sale which we do a 30 day quarantine um, that's standard with all of our shrimp and fish and snails. And so um, <laughs> Fortnite, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, so we've had them for about four months and, uh, and I have to say they're, they're pretty well quarantined. Um, we, we don't have as many left because like I said, we sold some, we took some to the aquatic experience. Um, but we do have a decent amount left. I know we have a lot of rasboras, like the explanation point, the chili, um, you know, a few others. Uh, we got a bunch of ember tetras, um, some different quarries, some plecos. Um, you know, we, we definitely have some stuff left. And so we want to start testing this out. Uh, the reason we hadn't started selling until now, uh, some of it is honestly laziness. Uh, you know, if I would have listed them for sale a long time ago, they would have sold a long time ago. Um, but that's been one thing. And also, uh, we hired a new guy, which you guys have seen Tyler in some of my videos. Um, so going from having just me and Jeff to me and a team more or less, which is Jeff and Tyler, um, it's been a different transition. Um, there's been some catch up, anything with the beginning of the year, there's a lot of catch up, um, getting your taxes up to date. Um, you know, a lot of like beginning of the year, ordering supplies, figuring out what you need, um, growing, uh, doing more YouTube videos. So there's been a lot. And so needless to say, uh, it's also been cold. And this is the busy season for uh, our hobby because everyone's inside. And so with all that being said, um, we have not listed Nanofish simply for the fact that time restraint and the cold. Um, last thing I want to do is launch Nanofish and start selling them and everyone wants them and then we ship them out and every single one dies like that would be terrible so i'd rather start slow start when it's starting to get a little bit warmer and then kind of go from there so now that we have the nano fish um how that the weather is starting to break a little bit um i think it's starting to get to a good point where we can start listing them um our team tyler and jeff uh they they really got into a good rhythm they're really good at shipping uh, both of them can work hand in hand and uh, they do a great job together. And so, yeah, we're definitely uh, going to get those going. And I see somebody asked how much they cost. So um, the amount of the amount of nano fish, I mean, they're all going to be different. Um, I would say we're going to sell them in groups of five uh, just because I feel like that's what we do with shrimp and it works really good. 
And so I would imagine a group of five is going to be between, you know, 15 and $25, just depending on what it is. And, uh, and again, I have to go through and, and actually see if that makes sense or if it doesn't make sense, maybe it would be cheaper, maybe with a little bit more. Uh, I don't have all the like fine details uh, down just quite yet, but that is coming. And so uh, I actually have someone local to us that breeds um, a lot of uh, plecos and Corys and things like that. And uh, he's going to start providing those for us, for us to sell. And so you guys are actually going to get really, really healthy, locally bred, um, you know, different types of Corys, different types of plecos. And so I think it's going to be a good thing for us. I think it's going to be good for you guys and it's going to be good for us. And, uh, and I am excited to finally get the ball rolling. Um, the other big hurdle we have is we we are limited on the amount of space we have for the nano fish, and so you guys have been watching. We've been building a sec or a third room. Uh, we this will make three uh, shrimp rooms slash fish rooms. Uh, this one's gonna have a lot of ponds, and so right now our second room that we built that has seven ponds in it and about sixty aquariums is dominated by neocaridina shrimp um, and also mono shrimp, and so. When all those neocaridinas and amanos, uh, when we get to the point where the third room is done, all those shrimp are going to move to the third room, which are bigger vats. They're easier to take care of, um, and it will really simplify the process for us. And with that being said, that's going to free up a whole room, um, which, again, is about 60 aquariums, uh, seven ponds, like a ton of space. And so with all that being said, uh, I'm really leaning towards – doing nano fish in that second room that we built um and just like you know that's going to be like our snail room that will be our nano fish room like anything that isn't shrimp is going to go into that room and so uh in the background i don't know if you guys can hear but uh ruby our little our smallest dog our youngest dog is just barking uh they're downstairs and, and apparently they're not happy that i'm up here and i shut the door and they can't come up uh but they're going crazy and uh we have three dogs. I don't know if you guys knew this, but we have three dogs now, which is a little bit off topic. Um, but having three dogs is quite the adventure, um, especially when they all try to sleep with you at night. Like literally dog on your head, dog on your arm, a uh, dog on your feet. <laughs> and so uh, it's it's fun. But yeah, they're definitely barking in the background. So if you hear that, uh, they're not they're They're just they're just being dogs. You know how that goes. But anyway, so nano fish. Um, probably at the very beginning, we plan on don't, we plan on not stocking a ton of nano fish. Um, I would imagine, uh, we'll probably stock maybe 10 variations and, uh, and it will probably be limited numbers just because we don't have the space right now for it. Um, but we are growing and, and we're getting there and it just takes time. Uh, it just, it definitely takes time and money. It takes time and money. Um, this, uh, this last project we did, uh, which is a complete, like huge remodel for us. Um, it's really going to make a lot of things make sense. It's already helping us workflow wise. Um, the third room that we built on was a major project. We literally framed in the whole center of our warehouse, which is over a thousand square feet. Um, and then built an office on, which is about 200 square feet. Um, and just completely redid it, built walls, you know, it, it, I mean, it looks awesome. Uh, ran the electrical, did all the baseboard heating, like, you know, we're working on the plumbing and the stands next. And, uh, oh my gosh, a lot of work, extremely expensive, um, but so worth it. And so uh, somebody asked, are we going to keep CPDs? Of course, like definitely celestial pearl daniels are like my number one fish. Uh, they're Amanda's number one fish. Uh, the Ember Tetra, I love them. So there's a lot of there's a lot that we plan on uh, keeping. Eller Breath said, "Please send all the fish to me." <laughs> yeah, I I honestly I think um we're gonna do a couple of display tanks uh, with Nano Fish as well, and uh, and set those up, and it will look really really good. And uh, and that way we can start mixing in Nano Fish with shrimp and, and teaching everyone through the YouTube channels and the YouTube video. Um, you know, what shrimp go with what fish and is it possible and how to do it and all those things, all these things that I've been wanting to do, but haven't done, um, we're going to start doing it. And it, it really helps. Um, if you guys have been following my journey for, you know, any extended period of time, uh, you'll know that 
I haven't been full time into the YouTube or uh, Flip Aquatics, which, you know, we, we saw the freshwater shrimp and everything like that. Um, I haven't been full time into it. I was helping my dad do electrical and working for them for the past uh, four years, I'd say. And, uh, and just starting this year, I finally, finally, thank goodness, uh, went full time. And so it's been such a blessing. Um, it's been good actually being able to focus in on projects like building this room and um, expanding our product line and uh, getting on top of my emails. Uh, I know in a couple of videos, you guys have seen my email box and literally there's like 1500 emails that are unanswered. And so I'm doing a lot better job at keeping up with that. And uh, just the the day to day, uh, keeping the team moving, uh, everything like that. So it, it has been an interesting adventure, um, lots of things going on, and uh, just been really, really blessed. I mean, it has been a really uh, blessed journey, and uh, and I'm really excited um, just for what's to come. And so I think Nanofish is really going to be a huge step for us. Um, one, it's going to diversify our business. Um, and if you guys aren't business people, um, it's kind of a it's kind of a scary thing, right? So owning a business when it's just me is is not scary because I know I can go to work um, for my parents or for whoever uh, and make some money, afford to pay for the business if it's not making enough, and uh, and that's all great. And then if if it makes a lot of money, great. If it doesn't make a lot of money, great. It really doesn't affect me. Um, just means I have to work a little bit harder one way or the other. Uh, now, when you have employees, now you have uh, people that rely on you. You have people that count on you to uh, pay their checks every month or every other week. Uh, you count on them to have a safe place to to work. You count on, or they count on you uh, to have something to do when they get there. And so, like now, all of a sudden, it's not just me. It's a uh, it's a team and peoples and lives uh, that rely on that. And so, uh, diversification means that like hey like what if uh what if people are like hey like shrimp's not cool anymore or um here's this other importer that is like a thousand times better than you not saying that's ever going to happen um because we are always going to be stepping up our game but uh you know just you got to be prepared for things like that and so if we start doing um you know snails if we start doing which we already do but if we start doing nano fish and things like that all of a sudden we're expanding um, our horizon, uh, we're increasing the amount of people that could be like, oh, like I'll buy from Flip Aquatics because they have something that I want. Maybe they don't like shrimp, but they like nano fish. And so it's all about growth and diversification and and appealing to a different um, a different group of people. And so uh, that's why that's one of the one of the reasons that we're doing it. The other reason is um, really there's in my opinion, there's no great place to go and buy uh, nano fish or or shrimp or things like that. Like, um, there's a couple like mom and pop places that do it, um, but the the amount of stock they have is limited. Um, you know, you might have to email them directly. Um, there's a lot of barriers that aren't being dealt with, and so um, to actually offer nano fish, to offer shrimp, to offer snails. Um, that we can say, hey, we guarantee these a hundred, a hundred percent. We're going to do a thirty-day quarantine on these. We are going to make sure that when these live animals leave our care, they're going to make it to you safe. They're going to make it to you parasite-free. They're going to make it to you disease-free. Um, all these little things that that we're just trying to grow the hobby. Um, the last thing that I ever want to do is have someone be turned off on the hobby because of me. Um, like I don't want someone to buy shrimp from us and then they kill them all and say, Hey, I'm never ever going to try shrimp again because they're too sensitive. And that is what's happening um, with other people and other vendors. And so that's what we're trying to prevent. And so I make sure to tell all of our customers um, throughout the whole process that, Hey, like we stand behind whatever we sell. And so um, we do that with shrimp and we've made a huge, and I mean a huge impact on the shrimp hobby. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys know it, but we've seen the massive amount of growth, um, not only in our business, but uh, throughout the whole hobby. And uh, and we've slowly become the leader in the shrimp hobby. And it's just been a huge, huge thing. And we are, our, our, our slogan uh, now is setting the standard. 
And, uh, and so we want to set the standard in the shrimp hobby and we don't want it to end there. Um, I want to carry that on. Now I want to set the standard in the nano fish keeping community. Um, you know, what's the type of care that they need? How long do they need to be quarantined for? How healthy are they? What kind of quarantine or what, what kind of guarantee comes with that? And so I want to keep raising the bar um, in different uh, areas. And, and, and really in turn, what that's going to do is that's either going to uh, force other vendors um, of shrimp, of snails, of fish to increase what they're doing, or it's just going to, you know, take business away from them. Um, I want everyone to do 38 quarantine because I feel like it's really helping the hobby. Um, but really there's a lot of people that don't. And, uh, and so that's one thing that we're really, really pushing for. And, and I, I'm being a hundred percent transparent with you guys. Um, I want to make a difference. Uh, you know, so many of us, um, even in the chat, we, we all want to see the things that I'm talking about. We all want to have someone that we can buy from that's going to guarantee it. We, we want to have this. We want to have that. And there are very few people that actually go out and do it. And, uh, and I always see these needs, and I, and I want to be one of those people that meets the needs and actually puts forth the plan and risks the money and risks the reputation to make a difference. And so I really think that we're going to um, change this hobby for the better in the next year, in the next two years, and, and continue it on. And we're just going to keep increasing what we're doing. We're never going to stop. We're never going to be complacent. Uh, we are always going to raise the bar and uh, and change things. And so that's what I'm pushing for. Um, I'm glad to see a lot of support from you guys in the chat. And uh, and yeah, so there's there's a lot of good stuff going on. Somebody said, are you going to carry pea puffers? Um, yes, <laughs> we are going to carry pea puffers. Those are one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, we're going to carry pea puffers. A lot of like the stuff that everyone always asks about, pea puffers, Special Pro Danios, um, chili res boris, things like that. And so, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, pygmy quarries, hebrosis quarries. Um, and yeah. And everything we keep at 72 degrees. If everyone's wondering, I saw somebody asking about temperature. Yeah. We keep everything at 72 degrees. Um, <laughs> when can I get my saltwater shrimp? So I don't sell saltwater shrimp. Uh, Ken over at radical reefs, uh, does it. Uh, LR Brett says it needs to be done. Glad you're going forward with uh, fish, Rob. Uh, thank you so much, Lucas. Really appreciate that. Um, Repto or Reptile says you the man. Ace to a plants. Justin in the house. Shout out to Justin uh, at Ace to a plants. He just had a baby. Uh, congratulations there. I've been watching his um, uh, what is it? Instagram story. And uh, oh my gosh, so funny. And uh, he's been he's a good dude. And so, yeah, so it's been really, really cool. Um, and I, I really enjoyed uh, the past month, the past two months of being full time to this and being able to uh, focus on this and really, really um, make a difference. Uh, new or NC Fishman says, oh, no, I already read that one. Uh, Trevor uh, 44089 says, can nanos and shrimp be quarantined together? Um, yeah, they probably could, uh, we'll never do that, but it probably could happen. Um, the, <laughs> it's probably my wife, even though she knows I'm live streaming. It is. Hey honey, you're on, you're on the live stream right now. Uh -uh. Yeah, I got you on speaker so everyone can hear you. You want to say hi? Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what's up honey? Did you turn up the dog food? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. Are you coming home? Did you get that other thing I asked you to get? No, I did not. Okay. All right, honey. I love you. Love you, Shelby. Happy. Bye. She um she works as a nurse. Sorry for that, by the way. Um, she works as a nurse, and she got mandated. She's supposed to work eight hours, and every four hours they can mandate you to go home, or they can mandate you to stay longer. And so she got mandated to come home. So she's coming home early, which I'm sure she's really excited about. Um, she's picking up some food for us and uh, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, oh, Neon Tetra Aquarius says, oh, Sulawesi shrimp, please. Um, I would love to get Sulawesi shrimp in. Um, the reason why I haven't gotten them in is because I haven't found a good uh, captive bred source of them. 
Um, a lot of people get them from the wild and import them. And I think that just destroys their natural habitat. So that isn't why I haven't got them in. Um, and yeah, Lucas Brett says complacency kills. Yeah. So uh, my goal in life is to never be, never be satisfied with the way things are. Now I'm always going to be happy in every situation. Um, I'm a very op optimistic person. I see the good in everyone. I see the good in everything. And, uh, and that's how I live my life. But I never want to be complacent, um, especially in this hobby. Um, you know, if they always say if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, but you can always make it better. And so I always want to make it better. I always want to uh, increase, um, you know, the customer expectation. And so, like, uh, when you buy from us, um, you know, you, you can expect quality. You can expect uh, that you're going to get a package that is well put together and your fish are just safe and fine. And so all these things, um, uh, Kay Walker, I saw, hey, Amanda, so thank you, Kay. Uh, so, yeah, so I always want to just make things better, and I, I don't want to stop there. Um, <laughs> uh, Mark said, Mark is our, our handyman. He's the one that built that new room for us. Um, just a really, really great guy that's helped me out a lot through this journey. And uh, Mark said, it's not so much fun having Robert, uh, meaning me, there all the time at the at the shop, he said, which is the warehouse. Um, <laughs> so, yes, uh, they don't always enjoy having me there because, uh, yeah, I, I like at least I, I want to see where Mark's coming from. Um, Mark is a very smart handyman. He, he knows what he can do and what he can't do. And, uh, and he knows corners that he can cut. And whenever I catch him cutting a corner, I yell at him and, uh, and give him a hard time. And so that's probably what he's referring to. Um, I give the guys at work sometimes a hard time. Um, because, again, like I expect things to be done uh, the right way. I, 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 like If I'm going to pay for something to be done, like um, Jeff can contest this. Tyler can contest with this. I, I pay them per hour to work. And... If they want to spend 30 minutes doing something um, and do it wrong, I'd rather them spend an hour doing something to do it right. And so that's the way I always teach people in my business, um, in Flip Aquatics, uh, that you know I would rather pay more to have something done right because doing it wrong is only hurting. Um, you know, it, in the case of shrimp, it's only hurting the animal. Um, in the case of the customer, it's only hurting them. Like I would rather me. Uh, lose money every single time over anyone else because that is the way that you really grow something. Um, because when you guys come to me, uh, you know that I'm going to take care of you. I'm, I'm not going to leave. Like, I'll give you an example. Uh, we had this this really really nice couple um, from North Carolina um, that they 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 live in a mobile home park trailer park, and they got an order of shrimp in. And, you know, the, the tracking, it gets emailed to them and, you know, it shows up that, um, you know, that your package was delivered. Apparently, um, the system didn't work for some reason. It didn't send them that email. And so their package got delivered a day early and it was freezing cold out. And in trailer parks, they have like a place where all the mail is so they don't have to deliver to each trailer. And so they deliver this package to like a storage unit um, that sits outside in the cold that is made of metal. And so they didn't know that their package arrived. They looked the next morning and there it was in the, in the box in the storage unit and it was unheated. It was cold. Um, all the shrimp died. And uh, it, it was not my fault whatsoever. It was not the post office's fault whatsoever. Um, it was probably mostly the customer's fault, but if you know, in business, the customer is never wrong. Right. Um, so it was, it was a bad situation. Um, the customer didn't receive an email to let them know that it was there. Um, they didn't check the box that day because they didn't expect any packages and all the shrimp died. Um, so um, I would I would reason to believe that most vendors would probably say like, oh, like, hey, sucks to suck. <laughs> but uh, Mass Aquarium's in the house. I see Mass Aquarium. Shout out to him. But anyway, yeah, we, we do not leave anyone hanging, whether it's their fault, our fault post office's fault like we always take care of it and so their order was pretty sizable i want to say um it was around like 40 shrimp and uh and so we we said not a problem we figured out another date to ship them um they were kind enough to cover shipping which was really nice 
and uh, and we send them out more stuff. And um, you know, it sucks that live animals died, but um, things like that do happen, and it's and it's not on purpose. And so we try to avoid things like that big time. Um, we just started investing in uh, live animal stickers, and uh, and that way uh, the post office will know that hey, there's something living in here. I don't want to leave it outside on a porch or something like that. And so, um, so yeah, so we're learning and, and we're making strides to be better. And so nano fish, I think is going to be such a good fit for us. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's really going to, um, keep my employees on their toes, uh, because it's one thing to catch shrimp. It's another thing to catch fish. Um, sometimes shrimp can be hard to catch. Um, a lot of times fish can be really hard to catch. And so it's going to be a whole new learning curve. I'm excited for it. And, uh, and it will be a really, really cool thing. And, and guys, feel free to ask questions. Um, I see Shu559 says, at Flip Aquatics, uh, love, your, love your red zebra pintos. Have you found any good deep blue colored shadow pandas? Um, so we had some. I wouldn't say they're like really deep blue, um, but the ones we did have, Lucas Bretts, LR Bretts Aquatics, um, when he was visiting, he went through and picked them all out and bought them. Um, so he he robbed us of all of our um, shadow pandas, but so I would say no, we do not have that many. We do have um, some really really nice Missouri uh, blues, which are technically a shadow panda. Uh, they're like a blue bolt, but they have black on their head, and they're considered like a like a blue like a shadow Missouri. And so we do have some of those, um, which I didn't even think about until just now. But yeah, we do have some of those. And uh, I do want to say this, like um, you guys, I, I, I've really been talking about Taiwan bees lately and uh, they've been doing really good. Like I, I really feel like uh, you guys responded to what we've been saying about Taiwan bees and, uh, and it's really, really growing. And so that's always super exciting um, for me to see. And I, I'm i excited. Ooh, hold on. Let's turn this off. I didn't even know that was going. I just now heard it. But anyway, yeah, so the Taiwan bees um, really have been doing well for us, and uh, and a lot of people have been getting them. Uh, <laughs> the fun thing is they're, they're actually breeding, which is exciting. Like, I really enjoy the fact that uh, they are breeding and, uh, and doing good. And, um, yeah, it's exciting. But let me – I forgot I forgot to do something. And it was because I was running so far behind uh, today – which is my own fault. Um, I just, I pack too many things into one day and think I have more time than I actually do. Um, but yeah, that, that does happen. That does happen. I think I spelled that right. I gotta remember how to spell. See, that, you guys that have been out of school, um, you know, that are in their 30s and their 40s, um, you guys are gonna know this a lot better than I do, but I feel like the longer, the longest, the longer I'm out of school, um, the worse I am at spelling. And so I just tried to spell presidents and I actually did spell it right. Um, but it was, um, it was pretty scary. Um, it was pretty scary. Uh, yeah, so I did spell right, but I feel like it keeps getting harder and harder to spell. Like, I'm like, Oh, like I never used that word. Like, how do, how do you spell that? <laughs> So that that happens. Um, I want to make sure this is right. So we are going to do a President's Day sale, um, which isn't anything crazy. Really, it's not. Um, but, you know, I want to do one. And I knew I was going to do it. And I like to always mention that we're doing a sale um, during the live stream, whether it's, you know, on shrimp food or whatever else. Um, I do like doing that. But let me get a shirt. There we go. All right. So. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, down in the description, as always, um, I'm going to put the, the President's Day sale. So what it will be for. And multitask. Okay, let's see if that works. So back to focusing on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, we are doing a President's Day sale that will be for 14% uh, off our entire website. 
which you know isn't a ton, but you know it it, it is a it is a decent amount. Um, but a President's Day sale, fourteen percent off. Uh, what it is, the link is down below. So here's the cool thing: if you click on the link, it will take you right to the Flipkartix website. You can go through, get whatever you want, and then at the end, it automatically applies the discount code at checkout. Um, if for whatever reason the link below doesn't work, um, you can use the code President's Day, and uh, and it will instantly work for you. I think it's President's Day. I just did it, and I already forget. <laughs> Let me see. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, President's Day. All one word. And that will give you 14% off your entire order at flubaquatics.com. And, uh, and that will be good through uh, Tuesday. So back on to a more important things, talking to you all. Um, President's Day sale, 14% off the entire website. Coupon code is President's Day. Um, everything is down below. Done. All set up. Sorry for the distraction. Uh, back to me not having to uh, to be distracted. And yes, somebody somebody did say it's that autocorrect making us lazy. Um, technology seriously makes us so lazy. Um, and I forget I was I was listening. I wasn't reading because nowadays we listen. We don't read. Uh, we listen to our podcasts or whatever else or our YouTube videos. And uh, we're also, we're getting so lazy that we're so busy doing other things that we don't even watch YouTube videos. We listen to them. Um, so that's the way our society is going. Uh, but anyway, now that I lost my train of thought and almost forgot what I was going to say, um, I'm listening to this thing. Um, I don't know if I think it was a YouTube video. And they said that we as a society are getting so dependent on technology that it is the reason that we are so forgetful because when I have an appointment, I rely on my phone to remind me. Um, when I have something to do, I rely on my phone to remind me. Um, all these things, we start taking all of our things that we have to remember and we put it in this so we can focus on other things. And so what it does is it kills our memory. Like it's hard for us to remember things because we're so reliant on technology. And somebody just said with the autocorrect, like, if I spell something wrong, I know it's going to correct it. Now, if it isn't correct, I have to go back in and edit it. But, yeah, it's it's terrible. It, it's it's awesome that technology is great. Like, I heard this other quote. It was like, um, at the palm of your hand, this was, this was on a commercial. At the palm of your hand, this phone, this is more technology than our, than, what was it, um, like 40 years ago. The whole population, this is more technology than they had. It was something crazy like that. And so you have more technology in your hand right now than say your grandparent had in his whole life or your great grandparent or whatever it was. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, JC tanks, tank stuff, $10 super chat. Thank you so much. And it looks like you have a military picture. Um, so if you are a veteran or serving, um, thank you so much for your service. Uh, I think that is a super honorable thing and uh, it's just really, really great. So thank you so much. Uh, said awesome shipping nano fish placing my shrimp order next week getting in time would be starter pack uh, black pintos and red pinto and some other stuff can't wait uh, the only thing with that is we're sold out of blue bolts and so uh, the Taiwan be starter pack will probably be out of stock uh, which sucks but you can always email us and if you want to do something with like uh, reds and blacks, we could we could work that out. But yeah, so sorry about that. Thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. It's extremely generous, and I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, Campy eighty two said, "Thank you for the videos. Love uh, heart. Uh, what size lift tubes ship with HMF filters? Um, we ship three quarter inch lift tubes. Uh, we make them out of PVC, and we fit them. And uh, each, basically each." Uh, Matten filter has its own size lift tube to it. So, see you and easy. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the super chat. Really do appreciate that. And um, guys, I have an amazing story to tell you. It's really not, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's like, it's, it's really, really, it, it's like one of those touching stories. Um, so, I hear a lot of stories in a day. Like I, I could li literally sit here and tell you guys stories all day long. 
Um, but here's a really, really cool story that happened this week. Um, that I just think is something really awesome to tell you guys. Um, and so, uh, I think it was Friday. I don't know. It was one day this past week. Um, this guy named Glenn contacts me, he sent me an email. He said, Hey, uh, I'm going to be in your area. I would love to come pick out some zero stone. Um, if you have some in stock and, uh, I'm, I want some, you know, different pieces and all this stuff. And so I said, yeah, like, you know, that'd be fine. We could set up a 45 minute appointment. You can come in, you can pick some out. Here's how much it's going to cost a piece. And, uh, and he said, that's okay. Like, let's do it. And so we met him and, uh, and I started talking with the guy and he, what I asked him is I said, like, what, what brings you, uh, to Ohio, like Warren, Ohio, like what, what brings you here? And, uh, and then he started telling me this story here. He is, um, he's probably in his mid sixties, late sixties. Um, his son is 45 years old and, uh, and his son had a heart attack 10 years ago. And so he had a pacemaker put in and like, he wasn't supposed to survive the heart attack and all this stuff. Um, anyway, his pacemaker had a recall on it. And so he ended up having to do surgery, um, to get a new one put in. Um, they think that he got an infection during the new pa having the new pacemaker put in. And needless to say, um, he had to get a transplant, a heart transplant. He went to Cleveland Clinic because they are one of the best, um, the absolute best hospitals in the world. Um, there are like people come from all around the world to go to Cleveland Clinic. And so he went there to get his heart transplant. Um, needless to say, they weren't able to do uh, the heart transplant, which is very unfortunate. And so he ended up being put on a mechanical heart. Um, you know, he had to be put on a ventilator and, uh, and all this stuff. And so here this guy, Glenn, uh, comes to Cleveland every other week uh, with his wife to visit their son for a couple of days and just spend time with them because he, he's been on this ventilator and mechanical heart ever since the surgery, which was 10 months ago. And so um, he's fully conscious, like knows you're there, can look at you like he's starting to get feeling back in like his hands and stuff. And so he can like, you know, move around and all that and, uh, you know, can move his mouth and, and you can read his lips and everything. But yeah, so um, his son's married and his wife's um, been up there and and being there for 10 months when they live in New York. Uh, she lost her job um, due to unfortunate events and, and she doesn't have money coming in. So they've done a lot of fundraisers and things like that to be able to keep her up there with her husband. And so this Glenn guy, um, just an awesome guy. He sold all of his zebra plecos, um, to raise money for raise about $5,000. And then the reason he needed the Siru stone, um, was because he was doing a scape for one of his friends. That's the doctor. And uh, in the scape, the doctor was going to pay him twice what he would normally pay uh, to do this the scape so that Glenn could raise money for his daughter-in-law to keep her in Cleveland um, as long as she has to until her husband is recovered. And so uh, he's telling me this whole story, and, like, I'm just melting inside because, like, um, this has been a very emotional week uh, for America as I'm probably going to get choked up um, in the whole world um, with the school shooting in Florida, which is just an absolute tragedy. And then, uh, and then to have this guy come in and, and just tell me this story, like when when you are like from me to you, uh, talking to a guy that is going through things that you can't even imagine, like your heart melts for him. At least mine does. And so this guy's telling me this whole story, and uh, and I'm just you know tearing up inside and just being torn up um, because I I can't even imagine what it would be like to have a son, uh, you know, going through things like that. And and the fact that he's trying to raise money. Um, to keep his daughter-in-law there is such a noble thing. And so I wanted to be a part of that. And so, and I, and I don't do this to brag or anything like that. I, I offered to give him all the serious stone as much as he needed for free. Um, he refused big time and, and needless to say, he, he gave me um, a huge, a hugely discounted price. That's what he ended up paying for it. And so it was just such a cool thing. And so I told him that if, if he needs more help raising money to let me know, and, uh, and I would be more than happy um, to do like a fundraiser on YouTube or something like that to benefit um, his daughter staying in Cleveland or getting his son moved to a hospital closer to them so that she could get a job back and all this stuff. But yeah, so it's just crazy. Like, um, you know, we, we go through so much things and, and the thing in Florida is, is so, so sad. And there's no words that 
could even be said about it that will make it any better. Um, it's just sad. It's really, really sad. And, um, you know, all of us, I'm sure there's some of us that live close to there. Maybe some of us that have even been affected by it. Um, but me, like I'll, I'll, I'll just share my side of the story. Um, I'm in Ohio, like Florida is so far away. It's so distant. Like it's a terrible event. Um, but it's, it's hard for me to like, really like sit down and just cry and just feel for those kids and feel for that family and feel for that community because I'm so distant. But when, when someone comes to my warehouse and shares a story uh, that is heartbreaking to my face, um, it's much easier for me to um, like feel the feelings that they feel. And so, uh, so yeah, so I always had this mentality that I, I want to help the people that are right in front of me um, because I feel like that's what I'm called to do. And so, yeah, so it's just a really cool story. Um, Glenn's an amazing guy. And, and he's doing a lot to make his daughter and his son more happy and keep them in their place. And, uh, and I just want to encourage you guys today. Um, we're getting close to the end of the stream. Um, you know, help the people in front of you. Um, you know, wh whatever's around you, those are the, that's your mission field. And, and you don't have to be religious. You don't have to believe in God. Um, just believe in being a good person. And uh, just love. Like, love is... There's, there's one thing that is a universal language, and that's love. And, and it's such a funny thing. Like, you don't have to know um, you don't have to know someone. You don't have to know their language. Um, you know when someone loves you. Like, I don't speak dog, but I know that my dogs love me. And they know that I love them just because of how we interact. And so um, I just want to say, like, encourage you guys. Like, love the people around you. Uh, pray for the people that aren't around you. Pray for the people that are in front of you, too. Um, but just love on people. And, and there's loving someone doesn't cost you anything. It really doesn't. Um, it, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> like, you know, let's be real. Um, it, is, it is hard. Um, but, you know, we, we make the best of it. Um, a lot of awesome comments coming in, and I'll read through some of them. Um, JK said, everybody uh, pray for Florida. Um, I agree. Shad Nolan says there was a high school shooting in Kentucky uh, to two right before that. That's crazy. Um, Corvus Ocean is in the house. Uh, Corey, <laughs> yeah, so Corey's, or Corey's not here, but Corvus is here. Um, but yeah, is there a GoFundMe where we can donate to Glenn? Uh, the Fish Nerd said that. Carlos in the house. Um, there, there is, but I don't know what it is. And so, uh, so I will get you guys that information. Uh, once I hear from Glenn, um, because they, they they were doing a fundraiser this weekend and it, it might have already raised enough money, um, but you never know. And so just pay it forward. Cecilia's hobby said, um, yeah, if you're always paying it forward, JC's Tanks even said that, pay it forward. Um, just pay, yeah, pay it forward. Like uh, we as a business of Flip Aquatics, um, I would say that we've been blessed. Um, some awesome people have come into our lives that have really helped us get to where we are. Um, a lot of amazing customers support us. Um, you know, just a lot of things. We, we have people like Mark and Tyler and Ken and Jeff and Amanda, um, all people that have given a lot, um, to make Flip Aquatics what it is. Uh, you know, my family, my friends, some of our investors, like a lot of people that have put faith into this idea and, uh, and really, really did good. And so anyway, with our success, it, it doesn't mean that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get rich or. Um, everyone else is going to get rich that's involved in it. Like, it's not about that. It, it's about um, creating something um, that extends beyond yourself. And so this business isn't about me. It's about the hobby. Um, it's about making dreams come true because uh, money that gets raised through this business, um, you know, I, I'm really think of the best way to put it. I believe in God. I follow God. And when I am called to do something, I want to do it. And so, like, if, if someone comes up to me and has this idea um, that they want to do something that's going to change lives, then I want to buy into that. And I want to take money that I've made and, and give to that person to make that a reality. Um, these are all things that are paying forward. And so I think it's so important. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good. It's all, about, it's all about love. Everything comes back to love. And I, I, and I won't dwell on it much longer. Um, because I went on a tangent about it. Um, but yes, we all are in this together. We are all human beings. 
Um, and we just need to love one another. And, and that's what we got. Uh, anyway, to transition, Flynn's Fish Forms asks, what is this glass case by me? Uh, those are actually nano tanks. They're actually, I believe, um, eight inch cubes. And uh, they're actually really cool. Let me grab one. Yeah, they're eight inch cubes. Siapora. And uh, these are Amanda's tanks. I need to order her filters. Uh, she's been begging me for a long time to get her filters. Uh, she's setting these up and she's going to take all my nicest shrimp and put them in these and keep them and tell, them, tell me they're not mine anymore. That's what she told me she's going to do. She didn't phrase it like that, but that's how I interpreted it, which interpretation is reality or perception is reality. Yep. So that's what those are. Um, everybody just keep doing the best you can. That's what Cora said. Joel over the West coast. Um, yeah, you, you guys just do the best you can. Um, make the world better than you found it. Life will always be good that way. And be optimistic. I mean, seriously, like, life can be bad sometimes, but you can make the best of any situation. And uh, and that's what you got to do. That's what I do. That's what I try to do. <clears throat> uh, Bob Kaler said, I retired as a transplant case manager slash RN. The story is one that happens all too often. Artificial heart equals destination therapy. Um, there is an amazing family and support system. Keep us posted at fundraiser. We'll do for sure. I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, can I use the coupon with the President's Day sale? Um, JK, so what happens is on our website, you can only use one coupon code at a time. So if you use the President's Day sale code, you can't use any other code. Um, President's Sale, again, is down below. It's President's Day is the code. Um, and you can click on the link and it will automatically apply to checkout. And that is good for 14% off. So feel free to take advantage of that. Uh, we will start shipping Monday or we'll start shipping Tuesday and Wednesday. And so you guys could be looking out for that. I know we're, we're not backed up, but we're going to be backed up just because we're not able to ship Monday. So if you order today, if you order tomorrow, um, there may be a chance if it's shrimp that it might not go out to the following week. Now we will do our best uh, to get it out this week, but can't promise you. Um, can you keep shrimp without plants? Joshua Sung asked that. Um, absolutely. You can you can keep shrimp without plants. Uh, we do it all the time. Um, it's better with plants. I always recommend it. Um, you know, you make the best uh, tank setup possible for them, and they're going to do the best. And so that's, yeah. I mean, it's better to have live plants, but you don't have to. Um, H2O Plants says, word, the whole reason I am selling plants is so I can open up a dog rescue one day. That's actually really interesting. I did not know that. Um, that would be awesome to have a dog rescue. Uh, that what is it? The dog island, where like the dogs just roam the island. And there's literally hundreds of them. And you can go visit. I think that's really cool. Uh, Eller Bretts Aquatic says back to the background. Main rainbow tank is getting a cleaning. Eller Bretts doing all his maintenance on this Sunday. Uh, I don't think that guy sleeps, man. He's always working. <laughs> oh man, so. Yeah, a lot of great things going on. Um, a lot of great things coming this week. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm going to do an update on our shrimp room, our newest shrimp room. Um, hopefully, we're going to get some work done on it this week. Um, we have a lot of new products coming to the website, including NanoFish. Uh, so tying it back into the NanoFish topic of the day, uh, we are getting the NanoFish on there this week. And so it's going to be a busy week for us, but we're definitely – going to pull it off um really looking forward to it uh have a lot of good videos coming out there like i have probably 30 videos on the pipeline uh which is really nice to be that far ahead on videos um but now it's just posting them at the right times and, and all that kind of stuff um, i did that video with Corey the 800 gallon which is just blowing up um i think we're close to 40,000 or 50,000 views uh, which is just insane that's really good for us um jk said it should be 18 percent off <laughs> yeah it should be but 18 percent off is a lot um we would we would probably sell out of a lot of stuff if i did that uh, which isn't a bad thing but um yeah for 14 percent off is good it is good <laughs> Ooh, oh. Oh. those of you that were betting on if i was gonna yawn during the stream you won uh, right at the tail end of it, you got lucky. 
Um, but you did win. Uh, any idea? Any idea which day the name of fish will be up? Uh, mandolin FSU said. Um, so mandolin, what I would recommend is sign up for our email list. You guys can go to our website, sign up for our email list, and there'll probably be a pop up. There'll be a link at the bottom of the page. Um, that's flipaquatics.com. And the reason I would suggest that is because when we put the nano fish up on the website, um, I'm going to send out an email and I'm going to let everyone know that, hey, nano fish are up. This is going to be our testing period. Um, maybe we'll have like 25% off uh, nano fish um, for the testing period or something like that. Um, just to get people trying them and knowing that, hey, we're not 100% sure how to ship fish yet, but we want to test it. And so those would be our testers. And so that's what we're probably going to do. And, uh, and so sign up for the email list, and then we will notify you uh, through email as soon as the nano fish are up on the website. Um, now, granted, we are doing them in limited, limited quantities um, because I don't want to go all out and then have a bunch of problems. Um, so start slow. Start slow is always a good thing. Um, SSJ Char, what's going on? Um, so SSJ Char said, do a mono shrimp eat hair algae and what should I feed them? Um, so you can pretty much feed a mono shrimp anything. Um, I would say historically they won't particularly eat hair algae. Um, although, here we go. It is possible. I know they put a dent in our hair algae, um, but it wasn't like... They didn't like devour it. Like depends on what type of hair hair algae it is. Like if it's black beard algae, I highly doubt that they would even touch it. Um, but if it's just you know green algae, green hair algae, uh, they might eat a little bit of that. Um, you know, just depends. I, I'm not the best when it comes to algae and algae control. All I know is freaking monos and neurites in combination is like the bomb.com. Near rates are like working machines that eat tons of algae. Um, so those are the ones that I would always recommend the, the monos or the near rates. Here we go. Me and mom yawning like crazy. You know what that means? It's, it's about time for a nap. It's like 8, eight o'clock because <laughs> I'm going to bed. Um, Flint's fish form. Last question of the night. I said, have you ever gone through times where you just feel like giving up on the hobby? Recently, I lost two full tanks of diseases. I feel so discouraged, but I'm staying positive. Flynn, that is an amazing question. Um, there have been times, um, I have to say, uh, last year, last year, 2017, when I started the year, I told myself at the beginning of the year, I said, this is the year that Flip Aquatics, um, which I was really everything back to Flip Aquatics, uh, Flip Aquatics, um, this is the year that Flip Aquatics has to grow. We have to make a difference because um, I was working like ridiculous amount of hours uh, to keep the business going, to keep money in the bank. Um, I wasn't sure how it was all going to work out. I wasn't sure where the money was going to come from. Um, like it was, it was hard. It was really hard. And um, I mean, I never, I never, like you always think about giving up, um, but I never would. I don't think I would ever quit anything in my whole life. Um, I, I'm just not a quitter. Uh, and and I think that's really important. So, Flynn, uh, you can go through tough times. And, yes, I think we all have thoughts of giving up on the hobby when something really bad happens, um, when you lose a lot of fish, when you make a bad mistake. Um, we all have those thoughts. It's just, you know, you just know you can't be that person that quits um, because the only thing quitting ever gets you is disappointment. And that's and I could go on about that. We're not gonna get we're not gonna get sentimental. Um, but yes, I have gone through those times, and I've never quit. I've always remained positive in every situation that I make a mistake. I don't look at it as a failure. I look at it as a learning experience um, that I made a mistake and I'll never make it again. So that's how I always deal with it. Um, but yes, so I love you guys. Uh, we will have CBDs. I don't know how much they'll cost. I don't know how much any of the nano fish are going to cost until I look at our survival rates, how they're doing, um, how much they cost us, factor in how long it's going to take to bag them up. All those things go into the price. So once I figure all that out, then I will know the price. But anyway, love you guys. Presence Day sale. 
Uh, coupon code is President's Day. It's for 14% off. Click the link below. It will automatically apply it to your cart and shop away. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for um, being a part of the live stream tonight, for spending some time with me, asking some good questions, giving me some positive feedback. Um, you guys are awesome. Really appreciate everyone here. Um, Ellerbrett's Candy's in the house. Flynn's Fish Forms. Mark. Justin. Um, so many other people. Um, Carlos. Chris Roma. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. Corvus. Joel. Everybody. Love you guys. I will be posting a video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys on the flip side. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys.